Station Houston on two for the PA event. Hey, we see you, Sonny, and we are hearing. I guess you guys have the uh, the handheld the hot mic, uh, but uh, a couple of remind reminders for you. Yep. Okay. So a couple of reminders before we start. Make sure that the SD card is in the camera and you guys hit record before you start. Make sure the light is on the camera itself and uh, keep it on uh, throughout the tour, please. And if there's any screen, any, you know, SSCs or, or laptops uh, with displays on, do not uh, put that in the field of view. And finally, when you guys conclude the event, uh, please make sure you guys give us clear remarks that you guys are ending it so that we can uh, follow up on the ground. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, it all sounds good. So love your hair, Sonny. Exactly. All right. Uh, we're ready on the ground whenever you guys are ready. We'll uh, start the event. Uh, let us know when you're ready, and I'll, I'll start reading the script. Starliner crew, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? We are ready for the event. Please begin the live tour of Starliner. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Sunny, and behind the camera is Butch, but you're going to see him pretty soon, so don't worry. We're not going to deprive you. So here we are in the front of the International Space Station where our spacecraft docked. Just to reorient you, you, you a little bit, this is the GEM, the Japanese laboratory on the right-hand side or the starboard side, Navy term. This is the ESA module Columbus on the, oh, I got that wrong, didn't I? I'm facing the wrong way. That's the starboard <laughs> side, <laughs> the right side, and the GEM is on the left side, the port side. But let's go forward into Starliner where uh, there was a little bit of action the other day. So I'm going to lead you down through the PMA. PMA Two into Starliner. All right, going in through the <laughs> IDA, the docking adapter, and then into the spacecraft. Here we are. Looks like a lot of bags because there's a lot of packing, and also this big orange thing, which is our ventilation that we get to, from the space station while we are docked to the space station. 
So this is sort of the extra living area where if there was four crew members, two more seats would be here. Uh, right underneath you, Butch, here is the hatch, the hatch that uh, we, was our hatch where we had our centerline camera, <coughs> which helped us um, dock to the International Space Station. It was actually in the spot where Butch is, right here. And now, there, there's Butch coming in through the hatch. All right. So we'll, we're going to bring you around um, the panel here to be into the commander and PLT seat. Want me to hold it over here? And we'll see Butch flying in there. Oh, it's dark. We can't show him anything. It's, it's, dark. it's dark outside right now? Yeah. Oh, bummer. That's okay. But we'll bring you in over here. There's a little orange equipment over here because that's our emergency equipment in case we have any type of emergencies. We are ready and outfitted with all sorts of stuff. I'm showing you a little bit about the back of my seat, the PLT seat, and there is Butch over there in the commander seat. I'm going to hand him the camera keep talking. and pop pop into my seat. Oops. We can talk about the controls. Show me the PLT seat. Yeah. All right. Here we are in the front, sitting in the cockpit. So you're, you actually have sort of the bird's eye view of where Butch's eyes were. Right now on the display, we actually have a tablet because while we're in the space station, we're doing some other activities on the tablet. But this is the control panels, one right here and one, there, I'll move the tablet. One right here, and we can operate all sorts of systems through the computer screens. Uh, we also have controls to fly the spacecraft. We have a rotational hand controller, and actually behind the camera, might be a little bit hard, is a translational hand controller. And that's how we uh, were able to fly the spacecraft. If you remember co us coming in for a rendezvous, or on the first day actually, we did a bunch of test points where we both flew uh, the spacecraft, and then on the second day, of course, Butch is a commander sitting in the commander seat, got to do some manual piling on the docking axis. So not only do we have the centerline camera, which would be displayed on a tablet. This is procedures. We'll just get rid of that for a second. Um, so the tablet would have the centerline camera on it right here. We also have a window. Uh, unfortunately, it's dark right now, um, where both where Butch could also look outside and see. Actually, we were like 85 meters, and we could see the huge solar rays from the International Space Station. So pretty cool, actually. What else do we want to say about it in here? Do you have a couple of words? Tell them we, the scissors were not there during during launch. I promise. <laughs> I'll take the camera. There we go. No, everything's been fantastic. Um, the spacecraft has handled remarkably well, much better even than the simulator, and um, it's been just a positive event from start to finish. We practice a safe haven event where we would use this as a lifeboat if something say a conjunction or something was about to um, intercede with the space station some space debris then we would all go scurry to our our spacecraft and hunker down and hopefully everything passed but then we went through that process today closing the hatches everything and uh, it was quite a successful event as well it's uh it looks probably a little cramped and uh it's actually fairly roomy for just Sonny and myself with just the two of us uh, obviously, you don't need a large cockpit, so it's actually sized perfectly for us as far as for controlling the spacecraft. Uh, and, of course, all this other area down here earlier where you saw the baggage and whatnot is where the other couple of crew members would be for the next time the Starliner flies, Starli or, um, uh, Star One mission. There will be two crew members down here. Why don't you go back around the side there, Sonny, and we'll, we'll show a little bit down there. We were hoping to show you the view out the window, but uh, the timing for when we have the coverage of the, this, this capability to downlink the video and uh, the sun is not uh, cooperating today, so maybe we'll show you that another day. The bags around our heads, behind our heads, have our spacesuits in them, actually. That's all tidied up over there. Equipment. And the orange bags is part of our emergency equipment in case we, there was a fire or a depress event 
or an ammonia vent on space station, we have all this equipment that we would use uh, to clean up our atmosphere so we could depart and come back home. So all this is planned ahead of time and trained ahead of time and uh, there's a lot of uh, effort by a lot of folks to get us ready and get all this uh, equipment here and get it prepared. Uh, that device on the left over there is uh, on the bulkhead. That's where our hatch, that's where we came in and out. You can't see it very well because that's a device right there that would actually clean the air for us um, if we had some uh, hazardous, toxic atmosphere for whatever reason in here. So we try to plan ahead for all possible contingencies. And uh, these are also breathing masks that we have in here. We've got a big bottle we installed behind me down here full of nitrogen, oxygen, and this is where we would connect our breathing apparatus if we needed it as well. And of course, as Sonny said, these are not normally here. This is just bringing the fresh air down and, and it flows in and flows back out. And that's what uh, how all that works. All right. In case you were wondering, yes, Sonny and I are both naval aviators. So we put on our Navy paraphernalia uh, to show off uh, and be proud of, uh, of our service. So thanks for all of you out there serving right now um, throughout the world, um, protecting freedom. So um, much appreciated by all of us. Let's see here. What else? Why don't we uh, float back out, and you can go. I'll go first, and you follow me, okay. and then we'll end this back up so they can kind of see the, the duct. It's kind of cool to come through here and see it uh, from both directions. And I'll try to pull the cable with me as I go, Sonny. Obviously, with a, a quick tour like this, there's so much more that we could share with you about the capabilities, but this is uh, yeah, this is what we have to do to make sure we get the video down there is get all this cable out. All right. So this is Saturday. So as you see a vacuum cleaner here, like most people clean their homes, we have to clean the space station as well. So we've been scurrying around, a lot of the crew has been doing various things, vacuuming and taking care of stuff. And when it's all completed, of course, all this will be put away and be ready for the work week. All right, Sonny, anything final to say? <laughs> Just super happy to be here on the International Space Station with our international partners. It's really awesome to showcase uh, our new spacecraft, Starliner, and show them that we can uh, take people up here and we'll be hopefully rotating more and more people to the International Space Station this way as, as well as our friends from Dragon and our friends who came in the Soyuz. So pretty spectacular event to have humans orbiting the planet and now we have a number of ways to get people here. So awesome, awesome and thank you so much for paying attention. Thank you for being with us and Butch and I are again so honored to be part of this crew. Station, that concludes the event. Thank you, Butch and Sonny. We are now resuming operational audio communications. <laughs>